Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to do the side-by-side review of AFA and CAS. This is only my personal opinion. I sent in two massive boxes to CAS and a box to AFA just to be able to do a good side-by-side comparison. So I'm going to set you guys up here. And then Andrea is also taking a secondary video that we're going to pop up on YouTube, and that way we will have it uh, some better video with some better pictures. So... First, we should start with, who should we start with? CAS? CAS has two boxes, so we're going to start with CAS. Um, so I'm going to go over here to my first CAS box. Andrea, you can follow with the video. And I'm opening it up. I haven't opened any of these before, um, so I'm opening this up right now. There's a knife. Tape. Two strips of tape, good box, lots of packaging peanuts. It's hard on this one, but Andrea's taking video. We'll have a better video later. I'm going to leave this video right here facing me, and I will just talk to it. So if you want to see the better video later, I'll put it up on YouTube. Hey, Mountain, how you doing, brother? Chris, I'm glad you're excited to see what's going on. All right, I'm going to try and not get packaging peanuts all over my wife's floor since I'm in the dining room. All right, so CAS, here's their first one. And it comes in another box inside. There's another box inside. So we'll get this one and we'll open this one up. So CAS is double boxed from what I could see so far, unless there's more boxes in here. We'll open this one up, and inside here is, oh, look at this, can you get this thing? But inside here it is all, uh, don't worry there will be better video, but it's all packaged uh, with priority envelopes, the bubble mailers, um, so I'm going to start pulling them out and we'll see what's in them. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to open this up all right let's see what we got here oh that's cool it comes with a uh, certificate here on the back this is a uh, pop-up R2 it got an 85 plus grade uh, 88.6 R2 with pop-up saber it's a good looking case. The case seems solid. They're using the same kind of poly bags it seems as AFA. Here, let's open this one up so we can check out the uh, whatever comes with it here. So I'm going to cut this one open. It's neat how they come all in their own little individual bags there. There's R2. There's R2. It was a really nice card, so I think the grade is pretty fair. Um, we put them over here. Comes with this little envelope. Has a little collector's archive services statement of archival. Star Wars vintage carded action figure R2 pop up lightsaber. Uh, the grade, subgrades, and then it's signed down here. I'll tell you something about CAS. Something uh, about CAS. I see uh, Ross just joined. Ross Barr is a friend of mine and the guys at CAS have always been very nice to me so I am a little bit partial on that account. Um, at AFA, Marcy has always been extremely nice to me. I don't know the AFA guys. I've tried to talk to them a couple times but never really connected. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there that I I think that it is great to have competition. I think it's very, very important in this thing we do because it keeps everybody honest. And I do like some of the things here. So on that one, I think to be 100% honest, um, I know the case is thicker, but I, I the case seems the same to me. Um, so same quality case, same quality seal. Um, it has a nice uh, CAS sticker. I wonder if the QR reader, I'm sure it does something. Um, it has a QR code on the bottom. But it looks nice, but I think that that's probably pretty comparable. We'll do a couple side-by-sides. Um, I really love this. I think it's really neat. Uh, it gives you a lot more information, which is always good. 
So I like that. Here, let's open up some more stuff. What's up, Ross? How you doing, man? I'm, I'm very excited. I'll tell you. And I like the way you packaged with all the little things. So it seems very, very safe. But we're going to crack all these open and then we'll check them out. I won't go as far into detail on each one. Um, because I'm going to move you guys over here. So that way I'm a little bit more in line with the other camera. Because I'm probably not even looking at it the whole time. But that's okay. We talked about it so it worked out. Um, next up. I did get some ones with different... Uh, that's a good one. There's a, uh, a Nikto min on cart. Um, when I first saw the grade on this one, it got a 75 plus. I was like, ah, terrible. Ah, but you know what? It really wasn't because, where is it? I saw there's a little tiny mark on it. I can't see it with the poly. But, oh, it's right there down below the thing. So yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like the little certificates of authenticity. I'm going to keep cracking them open here. And we will, uh, Keep checking out what came. I really like the double box, the quadruple bag. Um, it's a little bit extra to get through, but it does make it feel safer, um, more safe. Mike, will you be Santa Claus this year? Nah, Mountain, you're Santa Claus, brother. There's a Top Toys Chewbacca. Um, this is a Top Toys Chewbacca. It got an 85. It's beautiful. Um, I've been working on Top Toys for a long time. It looks good. I mean, the acrylic looks good. The sticker looks good. The I really like the the sheet, and uh, but I'm I'm expecting that these are pretty close to exactly what we'll see with AFA, um, which is good. If it's comparable, that means that it's competition, and competition needs to happen in order for everybody to keep improving. Um, we'll go through some more here. Well, we might as well open them all. It's not like you guys got anything better to do, and I don't have anything better to do either. <laughs> Uh, there's another Top Toys. You know what? I haven't even been looking at these before I show you, so I hope nothing is broken. But uh, there's another Top Toys. That's my Chirpa. Um, he looks great. He is an AFA 80. Um, actually, you know what? To be honest, one little issue with this, and I'll send it back to you, Ross, uh, but it's no big deal. Um, it looks like he popped out of the acrylic right there on this side. Um, but that could have just been shipping good old FedEx. So that acrylic slide he popped out of on that side, but it's a it looks good and it's it's a very easy fix. But I can't do it because I can't get in there. But uh, there's one, so there's one little tiny thing, but that's no big deal because I do know that they like take stuff back with no problem. And Michael, for all your hard work and helping us understand the grading process and just pouring more into the hobby, so better for everyone. Thanks, Johnny Burke. I appreciate that, brother. Yeah, that's all this is for. I'm just trying, because, see, it's tough with grading. When you first get into Star Wars, number one, it's tough to submit stuff to grading because you're like, oh, I don't want to screw it up, and I don't want to waste the money if it's not perfect. And that's the thing. If you, if you want to test it out, it's going to cost you money. So I figured since I do it anyway, I might as well do a legit test for you guys. Yeah, no, 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 I know you're going to fix it on your dime, man. That's one thing I'd like to say about CAS, which I really, really like um, for anybody trying it out new. And believe me, I'm going to be impartial. I just haven't gotten to the AFA box yet. But uh, just for anybody trying it out, one thing CAS does is if you screw up and you send them something that's not going to pass, they're going to give you store credit so you can get it redone or use that money towards something else. Whereas AFA, it's more like... If you screw it up, the, the, they're going to keep that money. Um, but that's okay. It's just the way it's worded. But that is a neat little thing CAS does. I hope they keep that up forever. Um, but it's a neat it's a neat idea. Because everybody screws up, and we don't all know these things. Uh, certainly not as much as either of these grading companies do. Um, maybe Biker Scout, my Power of the Force collection. I really like these little tell-you-all-about-it things. And I feel bad for you guys. One of you guys is pushing that punch button all the time to put that cool stamp in there, like the seal. <laughs> what is it? It's an embosser. It's an embosser, see? That's Andrea's here, so we'll find out what real words are. <laughs> Thanks, babe. An embosser. Whoever is squishing your embosser at CAS, his hand must be very cramped. Alright, the next one is... X-Wing, he's got an 85, he's very nice, uh, really beautiful card, that was 
They also show. So that's good. Um, I really like those documents. I know I keep saying it, but here, we're going. All right, that's the first one. That's the first box. Let's see if there's any others in this box. Whatever. Okay. No, you can tell me. It's all right if you talk. We're just trying to. Oh, she's got a place for the empties. Perfect. All right, next one. I'm going to reach into this box. There is another box in the first CAS box. Which is exciting. I gotta tell you, one fun thing about grading is you get to reopen everything you already opened once, so it's like fun. But let me try to get in there. Babe, I'm gonna get popcorn all over your floor. That's okay. I'll try to shake it down. <laughs> it also helps to have an understanding wife when you cover the entire floor in popcorn. On a regular basis. Okay, box two, numero dos. All right. Oh, cool, all right. Now this one, check out in there, babe. Can you do the video up? This one has a bunch of uh, the forms. Set up here. I'm guessing this is all the forms from all the different bootlegs and stuff. I do have to say, uh, the difference between the two companies, as far as speed is concerned, um, CAS did take a little bit longer, but you're going to see why. Uh, I'm a platinum member with AFA. It cost me $300 a year to get it a little bit quicker. Um, CAS did take a little bit longer, but you're going to see why. Many of these things, AFA will not grade. Uh, they they, I think they're just too busy or something like that, so they only stick to Kenner Star Wars stuff. Uh, they also do international Star Wars stuff, but mostly just Kenner line. But when you get into bootlegs and stuff, and you want to keep those um, safe, that's what all these are. But when you want to keep those safe, I guess that's what all these are. Yeah, that's what these are. Uh, this is a great option, and it's an option I didn't have. And these things get really, really pricey, so I uh, like to keep them safe. So, we're going to start going through some of those. Here's all the sheets, um, I'm guessing, for all the loose I submitted. a bunch because I submitted a lot of stuff because I really wanted to try them out. And plus, I was so excited to be able to get things graded that I can't usually get graded. Um, that's a good one. We'll get to that later. But, uh, all right. Well, here's the first one. It is a TIE Fighter Pilot 1980 Mexican bootleg, semi-articulated uh, TIE Pilot. I'm sure Meek Blos really wants that, but uh, it's not for you, buddy. Not yet. Uh, the first chance that... Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to sell any of these or anything yet, so don't PM me. I won't sell any of them, certainly, before Cincinnati. Um, I have too much to do, so don't bother. Um, but this is really neat. The thing I wanted to try them out about bootlegs is... Um, they're very hard to display. So that's why it took a bit longer is because they had to pretty much make special cases for 90% of the stuff I sold them, or sent them. Uh, if you look, it has a holder on the back, which holds them pretty good in there. It's got a little bit of a wobble and a little bit of a shake, but I find that to be normal unless you get something covering the front. Um, I actually do like this. I did notice originally CAS used to put a footer plate underneath here. Um, and I didn't love it too much because a lot of the bootlegs you want to be able to see the blank feet or you want to be able to see like top toys with their blank feet, stuff like that. And uh, I didn't love the footer there and actually that's been changed and it's, it's really neat and I like that back brace. It, it looks good. Um, we'll keep going on with some other ones. But once again, that's something that AFA would not grade anymore. They used to, but I mean they're too overworked. I, I don't even think they grade regular toys I don't collect anything but Star Wars, so I'm not the authority on that, but I'm pretty sure that they, uh, I don't think they grade all different lines of toys. I think they just do Star Wars now or something like that, maybe Star Wars and PMNT. Um, here's a Han Solo Bespin, uh, Mexican bootleg, vintage Mexican bootleg. It looks good. It has the same kind of bar on the back here that's holding him, and actually he's got hardly any click, and that's pretty amazing because... Because, see, the thing is that these vintage bootlegs, they're really, I don't know if you can see it there, but they're very odd-shaped. Um, so, it's not like they're flat and they can just fit. 
Um, do you need that hand basement, Ross? I'll see you in Cincinnati, man. I'll bring it. You find me a Boba Fett or something. <laughs> uh, here's a squid head. You got an 85. He's pretty cool. All the... Once again, all the files are here. Um, he's got no shake to him. He's got the same kind of bar. I really like that bar that they did. Sorry, baby. I'm shaking the whole table. Uh, I really like that bar because it, it pushes them to the front of the case and instead of them just hiding in the back. So that's cool. Um, let's keep going. There's a ton of stuff in here, guys. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. This is a... Uh, what this is, well, it's got a label, which is really cool. But uh, what it is, look at that, huh? It's a, uh, cool. but it's a non-sonic welded uh, Lily Letty Mexican bootleg, and uh, or not Mexican bootleg, Mexican vintage figure. Um, but he's non-sonic welded. He's overstock, Letty overstock, and uh, that's amazing. Just that case is amazing. I, I want to make sure that you see this. It's all split apart. I mean, that's. That's phenomenal, and I don't remember what I paid for this, Ross, or anybody, but uh, it was way cheaper than it should have been, because, uh, well, no, that's not true. Perfect price. I will be sending you some more stuff immediately, <laughs> but that's cool. I, That's inventive. I've never seen AFA do something like that. I'm not sure if they would if you asked. Um, there's a couple things that I've already asked them to do that they won't do, so. Hey, look at that. I got an extra Han Bestman, so there's another one. Same kind of case, no shake, that's great. That's so impossible to do, is that no shake? There's a nice Luke. He is a Luke Jedi Luke figure of the week at the IC, Jedi Luke, right here. Vintage Max bootleg. Uh, what's this, Paplu? Yeah, Paplu. He's red. That's neat. I kind of like the same size case. That's important. Because I don't know if you've ever done with the cases, but uh, usually stack them. And with all the same sizes, even if it's a little figure, that's that's a good idea. All the same height, rather. I mean, that Akbar is pretty wide, but he's still the same height. Oh, and look at that. I'm talking, and this one's a different height. But this one's <laughs> awesome, too. Look at this. Here. It's a uh, vintage Mexican, again, uh, Lily Letty overstock. Uh, it's a, what is he, Paplu? Yeah. Look at how smart I am. He's a uh, Paplu. I really like this case design. That's amazing. And now that you have that, I guess you can do it all the time, which is cool. But look at that. I'm showing to the other camera there. I mean, that's pretty... It's pretty neat. Okay. Next one. Nine um. Where's Mike Quinn? Somebody tag him. There he is. I found him. But, uh... Is it 90? Some of these are really beautiful. I'll have some of these at Cincinnati. Um, I'll probably be trading them, stuff like that. I'm really trying to build that fun for the Rocket Fet, so eventually we'll get there. Um, this one's cool, but he's got a little wiggle to him. Uh, he is the red Mexican vintage bootleg semi-articulated stormtrooper. And here's a fun fact about this fella. He's actually much more rare than a Rocket Firing Boba Fett. Just in case you were wondering. But nobody cares. <laughs> He's got a little bit of shake to him. I don't know if I totally love the case, but you can't get them all. I think you could just lose a little bit wider bar. But I'm sure if I complained enough, Ross will fix it. But also, it's going to be standing, so who cares? And AFA wouldn't touch it, so that's pretty neat. Actually, this entire box is a box of AFA wouldn't touch it, so you can't really compare the two. Um, that's awesome, by the way. Army Green, Vintage Mexican Bootleg Stormtrooper, 85 grade, perfect. Ah, oh, this one's special. Who's excited? I am. <laughs> this is a, uh, here I actually had the thing here. But this is a, uh, a test shot. It's an internal test shot from Kenner. And it's for the uh, Slave 1, the Han Solo and Carbonite for the Slave 1. And uh, I had them grade that up and that case is really awesome the way it's in its like own square like that. But here's the, uh, here's the certificate of authenticity. But this is good because so something like this, I mean, well, my wife is a different wife. She's wonderful and knows all about Star Wars because she collects Jawas and Leia's and stuff. But, uh, I mean, somebody could mistake this for a bar of soap and it's worth significantly more than a bar of soap. <laughs> 
So it's good to protect it, I think. That's cool. He looks good, and that's a great case right there. Biker Scout, uh, vintage Mexican bootleg Biker Scout. I'm trying to show the cameras. Vintage Max, uh, bootleg, B-Wing Pilot. He's pretty neat. I got a thing for B-Wing Pilots. I think I'll put him on my B-Wing. Uh, C-3PO in the bag. This is an original mint on card, vintage Mexican bootleg. That's as good as it gets right there. But uh, it's a 3PO min on card, quote unquote. Look at all these wonderful things. I'm so excited because see, here's the thing is I've tried to submit to AFA and they say, oh, we don't do bootlegs anymore. So I was so happy when they do these, but I can understand why they don't do them because look at that biker scout. They actually put in an extra bar here to hold his hand so he doesn't jiggle. That's phenomenal. Look at that right there, that extra bar. That's great. <laughs> the Han Carb, right? That's cool. But it's technically a, a Boba Fett piece, sort of, so you can't have it. Um, they look cool. They came out good. I'm excited. The bootlegs look really good. And there's tons, and they did tons. There's another Han Solo, Vintage Max, Unarticulated. He's orange. Orange is awesome. There aren't enough orange figures. There's another 9 num. Nine Num. Anybody know why he's called Nine Num? I do. There's a uh, Darth Vader. He looks good. He goes with that Luke from before, but these are all great. None of them. I'm shaking them all. No sound. There was only a couple with sound, and one was like that fully articulated. This one, the Snow Trooper, but he's fully articulated and a total hassle. They'd probably need like three more bars in that thing. Uh, this Luke is cool. There you go, Sean Hightower, got it? He is number nine. He was the number nine costume character. That's why he's nine numb. Uh, there's Luke Bespin. He is not figure of the week. There's another Mexican vintage bootleg biker scout. <laughs> you know, it's funny. If you're watching this, you'll probably never see these figures ever pop up on, like, anything. You're not going to see this. But uh, I hope you are watching it. That's awesome. Look at He's got wobbly eyes. But, uh, yeah, he looks good. No shake. I'm a big fan of the no shake. Ooh, that looks good. Paging me close. <laughs> that one's special. Tie pilot. Blasted apart. He's really cool. Exciting. Going. Look at all these boots. Uh, thank you very much to my wonderful wife who doesn't mind that I'm open 45 cases from CAS and AFA. Uh, this is a hybrid uh, Royal Guard. Who's going to be making an appearance in the next movie, I guess, or some reasonable facsimile of them. Oh, there's another Han. Green. Green Han Solo. That's that's the money Han Solo right there. There's a really cool baby blue release. Another TIE pilot. Vader, finish Mexican bootleg, there's a, look at that, that's really cool, but all these are, uh, cool weak way. I actually thought that weak way went with something else I had, but it didn't, so they cased it separately, but I'm still very excited as to the way it turned out, uh, there's a Royal Guard, Low gray. Good as Mexican boot. All right. Now, we are going to move on next to an AFA box. I have another CAX box, CAS box over here. Um, I really like the way they did this, the way they blew apart the figures. Um, they all were pretty great. Uh, there were a couple that did the click. And the only real issue was the one min on card that jumped out, but it's... It's not really terrible, but he hopped out of the scene. But uh, that's also because it's Top Toys and it's smaller, but I'll send it back to him and uh, they're already going to fix it so it's no real big deal. That happens and if I just went through an entire box and nothing's broke, I'm psyched. Alright, so we're going to move this stuff over here just a little. Whoa, be careful. That's right, they're all still in the poly bags, they won't scratch. Don't worry. That you can take. And we're going to open up this one, which is going to be the AFA case. Babe, can you zoom in on there? 
And this is going to be the AFA one. to AFA. Here's the AFA box. Uh, the cardboard on the box, shipping box, it is a little bit thicker. Um, but that was, yeah, see they do it different though because the CAS stuff was double or triple box with all that stuff, but uh, this one is, it has the bubble wrap in the middle of the box inside there. So here, let me, I'm to move this a little. One second here, folks. All right, but yeah, this is the way AFA comes. It uh, comes in bubble wrap, Get a ton of packaging peanuts. Now AFA has been around a long time. It is a standard of the industry. I have used them before. I don't have any major, major problems with them. I think they do a great job. I think they started off with a heavy learning curve um, and they learned a lot of things and they gave us a lot of the information we have today, which is very, very good. So I really have no issue with AFA. Um, I don't really know the owners or stuff, but I'm not really very old school, so that's probably why. Um, but I'm gonna open this up here. This is the AFA box. And it does have quicker access, and, but it's certainly not double, triple, quadruple box like the other stuff was. But it does have tons of bubble wrap on it, and uh, that's good. So, we'll open this up. Sorry, hopefully you're all still there. <laughs> all right. Don't worry, I don't have to say bubble wrap anymore. I bought a bubble wrap making machine. So, uh, all right, here we go. Here's the AFA stuff. And as I said, they did beat CAS. Um, but uh, just as far as time was concerned, but the only reason why is because I sent AFA a bunch of cartridge and I sent CAS a bunch of weird bootlegs that they had to make special cases for. Um, wow. That was the first time I've ever got an AFA 90. I'll be honest. Uh, there's an AFA 90 C3PO. Um, he looks great though. Very, very nice. The case, now here we can do a side by side. this uh, side by side you see about the same width so that's good um, so you'll be able to put them right on your shelf uh, whichever grading company you go with they'll be pretty uniform um, they look they look good they look comparable I think they do I think they both do a great job on the uh, on the case figures I think they both look nice. There's an AFA one. Let's see what else we got. Uh, there's a Darth Vader. I actually know there's another Darth Vader in the... Uh, that's 12-back A, I think. Yeah, 12-back A Vader. I know I sent another one to CAS. I wanted to kind of do a, two Vaders um, and see what happened there. Uh, this one got a, a 75, and it's kind of understandable. There is some dinging up there. Uh, you can see... So that's, yeah, that's a good grade. Um, Kez, 85, AFA 85, he's nice. These are some of the ones from that Power of the Force set I'm going to be bringing up to Cincy. Um, he looks good. I do like the AFA cases too, and their labels look great. Uh, they don't have the QR reader, they have that number code, but that's still just as good. 
I think they're very comparable companies, um, and that's good too. Here's a AFA 85 Top Toys Stormtrooper. He's nice. Um, he looks good. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Here's an AFA 80 Top Toys Stormtrooper. He looks pretty good, but I kind of understand why they did that because there's a tiny bit of color change on his arm, just a little. You can see it. Uh, next up. AFA is 75 plus. Uh, this is their new grading system, the plus minus system. This is a 75 plus. A few years ago it would have been an 80. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but everybody does it now and it's actually a tighter grading system and I like it. Um, so always be sure when you're doing AFA, because AFA is older, um, which is good, you know, they've been around a long time, but whenever you're doing AFA, make sure you check the serial number. Because if that serial number is one of the very old ones, then it's going to be uh, a lot easier of a grading system than it is today. The grading system nowadays is much more difficult. And uh, just from looking at what I've seen so far, it does seem like AFA and CAS are pretty comparable on their grades. But let's keep looking at the AFA ones here. They're beautiful. AFA does a great job with an 85 Han. He was just too pretty. I wouldn't normally send a Jedi Han because he's... Uh, not very valuable and uh, when you go and you drop the 45 bucks or whatever on grading a piece you usually want to have a little bit more into it but he was beautiful so I had to there's rules <laughs> uh, AFA 80, 85 Han Carbonite um, he looks great they did a good job he looks great these are all very good F80, Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper, just because it's a Stormtrooper, you gotta grade those. For safety, I don't know. Alright, next one is an AFA-80 Top Toys Darth Vader. This is actually my Top Toys Darth Vader. He's going to be going right next to that uh, CAS Top Toys you saw before, the Chirpa. Um, so he'll be up there on my shelf, I'm almost done with that set. I actually am kind of technically done with that set, but I need a couple upgrades in order to be... As happy as I want to be. Alright, next up is a Luke Jedi. Uh, I got an AFA 85 on him. It's a darn pretty card. Good bubble. It's nice, so it's understandable. Uh, it did get the yellow grade, they still do that. Uh, yellow near mint plus. Hard bubble, do they do the same? Yes, yeah, CIS also does the card bubble and figure grades. To make the one grade. Um, I'm not quite sure if they average or if they do the thing like CAS. Thank you for all the likes, everybody. It's really cool. I'm glad you're watching and enjoying. This one I sent just because I thought it was 